The survey found that the statistical chances of someone from a poor background being accepted at one of the country's most respected universities are far lower than those of a student from a wealthy family. This means that the inequalities in society are likely to be passed down from one generation to the next. Children language brokers are children or young people who translate or interpret on behalf of family members or others who do not speak the local language. When settling into a new country, children often learn the local language more rapidly than their parents and other adults. An electronic blood vessel that can be actively modified to address small changes in the body after implantation has been created by scientists. Blood vessels created from a biodegradable and flexible metal polymer conductor membrane imitate real blood vessels and were found to be electrically conductive in in vitro testing. It may be provisionally tested that no surface is perfectly smooth, and that whenever two bodies in touch have a tendency to move in relation to each other or to compel known as the constraint of rubbing, the relative movement tends to be maintained.
The numerical evaluation of compelling of rubbing is based on presumptions that are exemplified by the asserted laws. A refugee, in general, is a person who has been forced to leave their native country and is unable to return. For more information, see the legal definition. As long as they have not been given refugee status by the contracting state, a person might be referred to as an asylum seeker. Persian tents, which were generally circular, were known for their ornate hangings and rugs from the start. The Greeks' modest, skin-covered tents and the Romans' canvas tents supported by two upright poles and a ridgepole are examples of ancient army tents. Vaccines work by training and preparing the body's natural defenses the immune system to recognize and fight off viruses and bacteria. If the body is exposed to those disease-causing pathogens later, it will be ready to destroy them quickly which prevents illness. When a person gets vaccinated against a disease, their risk of infection is also reduced.
Whether flu or coronavirus, it can take several days for the body to ramp up an effective response to a viral infection. New research describes how different cells in the immune system work together, communicate, and in the case of cells called neutrophils bring about their own death to help fight off infections. The findings could have important implications for the development of vaccines and antiviral therapies. Precipitation is a term used in meteorology to describe the droplets that form when water vapor condenses in the atmosphere and is attracted to the earth by clouds. There are many different types of precipitation, but the most common include drizzle, rain, ice pellets, snow, graupel, and hail. In order for water vapor to condense and fall as rain, an area of the atmosphere must become saturated reaching 100% relative humidity. When a major disaster strikes, the first people on the scene are often local organizations, residents and volunteers. They are often faced with the retrieval and immediate management of dead bodies before forensic experts can arrive.
SARS-CoV-2 infection is most likely to occur in humans, ferrets, cats, civets, and dogs, according to a study including 10 different species. The art of programming is the expression of answers to problems in such a way that a computer can carry them out. Programming is all about finding and improving solutions. Sometimes an issue may only be completely grasped via the process of developing a solution. To overcome procrastination you need to have an understanding of the reasons why you procrastinate and the function procrastination serves in your life. You can't come up with an effective solution if you don't really understand the root of the problem. As with most problems, awareness and self-knowledge are the keys to figuring out how to stop procrastinating. Until Alexander was captured and slain, Alexander pursued Bessus eastward, hoping to find her. Battles for control of the easternmost sections of the Persian Empire were placed in Central Asia during this time. It was a bloody, ice-choked campaign that put strain on Alexander's army and ultimately led to the death of two of his closest friends.
Much of the country experiences a Mediterranean climate with warm or hot, dry summers and the rainfall falling in winter. A semi-arid climate occurs in the south, eastern part of Spain but is also found elsewhere in the country such as the Ebro Basin. Here the summers are hot and the winters cool, but there is limited precipitation at any time of year. The northern part of the country experiences an oceanic climate, with both winter and summer temperatures influenced by the proximity to the Atlantic Ocean and rainfall spread throughout the year. There can be no denying today that the Industrial Revolution has ushered in a degree of widespread affluence that was previously unimaginable in many nations. However, the early impact of the Industrial Revolution divided authors significantly. Biomass energy, derived from living organisms, has been utilized by humans for cooking and heating purposes since the first cavemen. Biomass is derived from living creatures, such as plants and animals, and is thus organic. Plants, wood, and garbage are the most frequent biomass resources utilized to generate energy.
Bacteria are minute organisms that cannot be seen with the naked eye. Bacteria can be found both inside and outside the human body. Bacteria can survive in a wide range of conditions, including hot water and ice. Bacteria are robust and clever organisms that can survive in harsh environments despite their small size. Bacteria have a strong protective layer that makes them more resistant to white blood cells. Nuclear power, like the little kid next door, seems to have matured overnight. There can be no doubt that it has matured. For the past two years, it has accounted for roughly half of all the additional power generation capacity ordered by U.S. utilities. For occupants' well-being and safety, modern structures must meet minimum performance standards set by building codes and standards organizations. Because of their finite supply of energy and materials, these conditioned habitats must be constructed and maintained.